thank you for the opportunity to uh, present testimony in support of LD 718, an act to prevent Maine food consumers' right to know uh, uh, about genetically engineered food. My name is Michael Hansen. I'm a senior scientist at Consumers Union, the, pol the policy and advocacy arm of Consumer Reports. I've worked on the issue of uh, genetically engineered foods, uh, both the science and the advocacy of it, for more than 20 years and have been involved in the decisions and debates uh, about these foods at state, national, and the international uh, levels. And I just have a few uh, things I'd like to say. First, uh, genetic engineering is very different from uh, than uh, conventional forms of uh, breeding. Uh, genetic engineering uh, allows exchanges of genes between life forms that could never do so uh, naturally. Scientists have used uh, genetic engineering to put spider silk genes into goats and human genes into rice plants. Indeed, there is a global uh, uh, agreement that uh, because genetic engineering is different than conventional breeding, safety assessments should be completed for all GE foods, including crops and animals, prior to uh, marketing, and that's actually functionally written into the World Trade Organization. Uh, the human safety problems that may uh, arise from genetic engineering in, uh, include introduction of new allergens or increased levels of naturally occurring allergens, increased levels of plant toxins and changes in nutrition. There may also be unintended effects. The United States, however, unlike all other developed countries, does not require safety testing for genetically engineered plants, although it does require testing for engineered animals. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has not made a conclusion about the safety of any of the engineered plants or the safety of the technology as a whole. Indeed, in the end, the FDA says it's up to the companies to determine the safety of any engineered food. And just last June, the, uh, the American Medical Association's House of uh, Delegates actually voted to change its policy on uh, bioengineered foods. Previously, they had said safety testing would be a good idea. They changed that to say, quote, our AMA supports mandatory pre-market systematic safety assessments of bioengineered foods. Well, we already know there's 90 such of these uh, products that have gone through this FDA voluntary process. There's been no safety assessments, so the human health implications of that we wouldn't know. So uh, I would point out there's also considerable evidence of health issues with uh, GE foods. FDA is posed to approve a GE salmon engineered to reach market weight in half the time of wild salmon. However, company data suggests that it may uh, exhibit increased allergenicity. I have links to all these um, studies. There was also a carefully designed meta-analysis of 19 published feeding studies involving mammals fed GE corn or soy, and it was all the data they could find, and they even got data from uh, actually court cases over in Europe. Uh, they found damage in the kidney, liver, and bone marrow, which could be potential indicators for the onset of chronic diseases. There was a long-term feeding study published in October of last year. It found that GE corn caused tumors and premature death. The study by Dr. Eric Giles, Seralinian uh, colleagues, was viciously attacked in the media as pro-GE and industry-affiliated uh, scientist in what appears to be an, an orchestrated campaign. However, both the French Food Safety Agency and the European Food Safety Authority have agreed with Dr. Cerellini that such long-term safety assessments should be done on GE foods. Because of these safety questions, because of the allergy issues, and because consumers have a basic right to know what they're eating, Consumers Union supports labeling of GE foods. Finally, uh, as others have pointed out, there are 62 countries, which together include more than half the world's population, that uh, require uh, labeling. India just came on board in January of this year. These polls from 95 to 2011 have found 70 to 95 percent of people want labeling. Your own poll here in Maine found a 91 percent. Such labeling is important because consumers have a right to choose foods they eat and avoid any unintended health effects. Finally, CU does not support the use of the contingent e effective date or those triggers as we believe it sets a dangerous precedent and feel this section should be deleted. But for all these reasons, we support 718. Thank you very much.